In this video, we're going to show Alex as an occupational therapist administering the O-Cares to Miss Martin. Hi, Miss Martin. My name is Alex. I'm going to be your occupational therapist. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, so we are going to be conducting something called the O-Cares assessment today. And basically what that's going to tell me is how you're feeling after coming home from the hospital after your stroke. Okay? So, first thing I'm going to ask you is a couple questions about your social environment. Um, so, um, I'm going to look at how things are for you at home, just in terms of your family and the support that you had. Um, so, my first question for you is, do you live alone? No, I live with my husband. Okay. And um, do you have any home help besides him? Does anybody else help you with this? My daughters come over a lot, especially since my stroke. Okay, okay. Um, and are you pretty happy with the help and support that they're giving you? Is it a good Yeah, amount? I know they're trying to help, but sometimes I feel like a little restricted, like they're not letting me do as much on my own, but I know mm -hmm. it's because they can. Yeah. I don't want them to fall and get hurt. Yeah, that's good. Um, and in your local area, are there places that you like to go regularly when you leave the house, like church? Um, or? We go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. We like to go out to eat. Um, we go to the grocery store together, um, and then I'll go to the doctor and such when I'm sick. Okay. And do you manage to get to and from pretty okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and let's see. Uh, so now that we've looked at the social support that you have at home, um, we're going to move on to what your actual house looks like and um, your local community to kind of just find out what your support level looks like in that kind of area. Um, so what type of house do you live in? Is it... It's a one-story home. I have three bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Bathroom, okay, mm -hmm. good. And, okay, so good, all right. And are there any steps in your home besides, you know, to get in or out? There's a few steps going up from the garage into the house. Okay, and are there any rails to um, help you? Yes. Okay, good. Um, and are you using a walking aid? I got one at the hospital. Okay. Okay, and so now that we've assessed your home situation a little bit, I'd like to now find out a little bit more about what you do every day, so your daily routine. So let's start off with when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. Um, so I'd like for you to talk me through your routine that you go through in the morning. Um, and so um, let's just start from the very beginning when you wake up. And are you getting out of bed okay? Do you need some help? I can go to bed. Okay, okay, good. Um, you feel confident in doing that on your own? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, and let's see, uh, pretty important for you, I would yeah. assume. Yeah, I like to get my stuff. Yeah, um, and let's see. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, you don't need any help. And um, have you had any difficult past experiences with that? I've never had that trouble. Okay, good, yeah. great. Um, all right, and now uh, we're gonna talk about kind of in the bathroom, are you getting in, get, Getting in and out, okay? I am. Yeah, I'm a little bathroom. slower since the stroke, but I can go to the bathroom, use the bathroom all on my own. Okay, great. Um, so you feel confident, yes. all right? Mm -hmm. You don't need any help. Um, all right, great. Any difficult past experiences there? No. Nope. All right, awesome. Um, and so a little bit more of your time in the bathroom, but we're going to be talking about taking a bath or a shower mm -hmm. now. Um, so, do you feel okay about that? Or? Not yet. Okay. I have some trouble since my stroke. Mm -hmm. I'm still weak. Yeah. But I get kind of nervous. Scared about falling mm -hmm. when there's water on the floor and stuff like that. Don't blame you. Okay. So, um, do you have any support? How's, how, to, how are you getting um, getting that done? Usually, I wait for my daughters. My husband will help me, but I like for them to be more than one person right now because mm -hmm. I don't want to fall. I also can't like I'm still weak so I kind of can't keep my balance good so mm -hmm. someone usually can help make sure I don't fall over in the tub and they can someone can be watching me okay so. okay good I do have help though okay awesome um all right and now dressing after you take a shower or whatever you get up in the morning um, how's that looking for you it's not easy I mean I'm getting better every day as I regain my strength but right now I still need help from my husband and my daughters okay all right so not not quite confident in that one yet um all right it's an important activity for mm -hmm. you okay and all right 
now we're going to talk about breakfast time. So do you typically make your own breakfast? Mm -hmm. Or, okay? My husband makes breakfast. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, on a good day, I have oatmeal and eggs. Oh, hi, right, awesome. Um, so, yeah, we can't physically do the activity. And where do you typically eat your breakfast? We eat in the dining room. Okay. And have you had any difficult past experiences doing it on no, your own? No, he just always has made breakfast ever since we've been married. So. Oh, sweet. Okay, so you're pretty satisfied with that. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so how do you typically spend your morning time after that? Um, I'll usually just hang out in the house right now, especially since the stroke. Um, I haven't been doing leaving, but like if I wasn't just out of the hospital, we would run errands, or if we had some plans that day with friends, just kind of on a day-to-day -day basis since we're older and we're tired. So. Okay, great. All right, so now let's talk about our next meal of the day, that'd be lunchtime. Do you make your own lunch? Yes. Okay. All right, and what do you typically make for lunch? Just a simple sandwich, which is like meat and cheese, maybe some mayonnaise and extra. Okay, all right. So that's, do you have a routine surrounding that, or is... Um, I mean, I'll eat different things, but usually I eat a sandwich, so I guess On a normal of, day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you feel pretty confident in making that sandwich on your own, mm -hmm. even after everything? Okay, good. Um, all right. And does anyone ever help you, or are you always on My your husband's own? around now, since I am kind of a followerist mm -hmm. with my weak side. Um, but typically, I do it alone. Okay. I have my walking aid with me. So oh, great. All right. And do you eat your lunch in the dining room, too? Um, sometimes we'll just eat it in the living room and watch TV. It just depends on the day. Sometimes. Okay. All right, and you're pretty satisfied with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about after lunch, early afternoon, and uh, how you typically spend your time during that part of the day. Do you go anywhere? Do you? The afternoon is usually a good time for me to go hang out with my friends. I like to get coffee or mm -hmm. go do something fun that's okay, going good. on around town. All right, and uh, so you feel? Do you feel good about? getting to and from getting together with them or yes before the stroke i could drive but now either they come get me or my husband takes me so i'm not not having the activity so you've got you've got some yeah, support to help you there help. okay great and you find it enjoyable very good. um great and it's important for you pretty mm -hmm. important um and okay And so where do you normally go out for coffee? Is it far away? Is it pretty close to your it's house? It's pretty or? close. I live in a small town. Okay, yeah. great. All right. And uh, have you had any difficult past experiences there? Not since, not for the stroke. No. Okay, great. And you're satisfied with that, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, now we're going to talk about your evening meal, so your dinner time. Do you typically make your own dinner? We usually do that together, but here lately I'm so tired by the end of the day because I have to work harder to do my normal day that mm -hmm. we make us some dinner lately. Okay, okay. And do you have something that you normally have for your evening meal or does it? It differs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't go out of the normal regular. We normally have spaghetti or chicken or mm -hmm. fries, like just regular food. I guess. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so you're pretty pretty satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. um, and so would, would you say that your husband makes dinner 90 to 100% right of the time? Right yes. now, yes. Okay. I help if I am not and too tired. Okay, okay, great. But usually okay. I'm too tired by the time it's time to eat dinner. Okay, okay much. Yeah. Don't blame me. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about after dinner, so your evenings. Um, how do you typically spend that time? Do you go anywhere then, or? It depends on the day. I mean, a fun day for us would be to either go out, we would either be at dinner with friends, or we like to go to bingo a lot. Oh, fun, okay, great. All right, so you feel pretty confident in that, since you have mm -hmm. your husband there with you. Yeah. Okay, great, and uh, it sounds like you do some pretty fun stuff in the evening sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, and and so it's a, so it's a day-to-day -day thing, not a whole lot of structure and no. the evenings after dinner. Okay. Since we aren't very busy now, we just kind of just Especially now that my health is not at its prime, we do just whatever I feel like eating okay. usually. Well, that is wonderful. Okay, so pretty satisfied with that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So now let's talk about 
very end of the day, so winding down for bed. Um, I know we talked earlier about you having some issues with dressing. Do you have those same problems with undressing mm -hmm. as well? Okay. My hands are just still very weak, so getting, if I buttons on, getting those on and off. Mm -hmm. For pajamas, or just like, that's just not easy for me right now. Okay, okay, so we need some help there. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's pretty important. Very um, important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you carry that out in your bedroom as you're putting on your yeah. pajamas. All right, and okay. Um, so now let's talk about getting getting into bed once we've got our I can get on. into bed. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. good, yeah. Getting out, like I could do that. So getting in is just a little, it can be a little bit more difficult because usually I am tired, but mm -hmm. I can still do it. Okay, great. All right, and are you pretty satisfied with your routine? You got enough support to get changed in your pajamas and everything? Mm -hmm. And that's all it takes. My husband and my daughters are always there to make sure. So I feel like even if I did slip up, I would be okay, but mm -hmm. I want to get back to being able, like, I'm confident in doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, not always needing somebody there. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Well, glad I got to learn a little bit more about what your day looks like. So now let's just talk about your goals in general mm -hmm. as we're getting back to normal and readjusting to being back home from the hospital. So are there any particular things that you have in mind that you want to be able to do that you can't right now? Based on what we talked mm -hmm. about, I want to be else? able to put my clothes on and off and bathe alone. Mm -hmm. I like to do those things by myself. Don't um, blame me. I want to be able to drive to my friends hopefully again one day. Mm -hmm. um, just getting back to normal days, get my strength back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what things are there? Any things apart from dressing and bathing that are important for you to be able to do just at home? I like to be able to cook for okay. my husband, mm -hmm. so to be able to do that as much as I did before the stroke. Okay, great. All right, and um, what do you think that you will do in order to be able to get back to that? Hopefully therapy will help. Okay. And just not giving up. Yeah, try. that's right. Good, good. Okay, so we often set those goals, and sometimes um, looking back over your past experiences and what you're having trouble with now will help us figure out how we can achieve those goals mm -hmm. for you. Um, so, now we're going to talk a little bit about just your past experiences and how you're feeling about that. Um, so, overall, in your life in general, do you feel that you've had typical ups and downs that just happens to fly? Yeah, pretty normal. This has probably been the worst, one of the worst things that's ever happened, a stroke. It was kind of scary. Yeah, we can only come up from here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you feel that your life has been better or worse than normal lately? I've had a very good life, I'd say. Okay. But it's been been a little tougher lately. Yeah. Okay. All think. right. And so um, a lot of times how we managed in the past and kind of looking back over that helps us to manage how we're going to improve on those things and our outlook in the future. Mm -hmm. And um, at the moment, um, you know, you've had a stroke, and that is why you were in the hospital and why we're going through therapy now. Mm -hmm. um, so things may be a little bit different now, but I think that we can definitely give you some help and help you get back to a good level of independence and satisfaction for you. Um, so, um, you know, our daily routines change over time. So do you feel like you've been able to cope with those adjustments to it's the routines not, that you used to have? I don't like all the help, so I like to do things on my own, but I understand that I can't help. I have a stroke and needed to send there, so. Just kind of take it day by day. So I guess I've been okay with it. It's not mm -hmm. been easy. Not ideal, but yeah. you're, you're dealing with it. I'm able to it. deal with it. Okay, great. All right. And if somebody gives you any advice or feedback about your life and how you're handling things, how does that typically make you feel? It honestly depends what it's about or who it's from. Like, obviously, if my doctors, uh, if they say I'm sick, I'm going to believe and take their advice. But I just kind of am careful with what I give and take from advice. Okay, so. great. All right. So... We're about done now, so we've looked at many things just within your life in general, and all the information that you've given me is going to help me kind of gather a plan for therapy. Um, and, you know, um, are these things that we've talked about, things you'd like to look at while we're working together to kind of help you get back to normal? Do you think we've got a good grasp on what we need to be looking at I to help you feel yeah. Good. I think we covered a lot of things okay. I like to get back to doing. So. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Miss Martin. Thank you.